Angela. Hello, how are you? you you're Ooh, doing good. It's so nice to see you again. I love this little chat of ours. I really do. I do as well, definitely. And I thank am you tired too. today, so forgive me. <laughs> you're but, tired yeah. today? Okay, okay. Oh. Well, and it's early morning for you. I should be the one who's tired. It's nighttime for me. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> On a Monday. Um, thank you once again to Carl for giving us our topic today carl you should like do interviews or something because your your topics are so interesting <laughs> yeah i said he is such a lovely man i've got a little got a little project working um with him at the moment and he is just he's a lovely person but i can't talk about it but yeah okay. i'm glad okay. that we're doing another one the mystery project that we yes. shall know about <laughs> soon good 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 when when it's ready and you're ready to talk about it let us know so we can support i, I will you and carl and uh, yeah all the wonderful people that um have shown us support um, oh, amazing. but i'm looking forward to this one this one seems like a very interesting topic yeah i hope so i hope people think it's interesting oh i'll pop the topic up on the screen what's our topic today oh, there it is <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're going to be talking about games that are hidden gems. So uh, gems, so games that um, maybe are not, um, you know, as popular as um, Catan or Carcassonne or all those really names that people know. These are nice. these are games that, um, at least to the best of our knowledge, <laughs> not a lot of people know, or we don't see a lot of uh, people playing them yeah. uh, when we're out there, and that's how we kind of picked these games. Yeah, and we've chosen chosen three each so yes three the lucky number we'll see if you've chosen no. any that i know and i've chosen some that you know right right although this time i don't know i don't know about this time <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't think so my 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 money's on that we did not match i'm gonna guess that you've gone probably a lot heavier than me as usual because i like lighter games but we'll see we'll see when we get there okay. do you want to start us off with a game I can start us off. I've got a small one and I've actually got them here today, unlike okay. usually. Today I don't. <laughs> I'm going to start with this one. Hopefully we can see it. Cat Lady. Cat Lady. So it's Cat Lady. It's a, um, by Josh Wood. He did all the art and the design of this game. And it's a wee card game. I'll put up images like I usually do. Mm -hmm. And I've got the premium edition. I've got the normal edition. And I've also got the uh, expansion. That's how much I like this game. I wow. don't really see anyone talking about it. Have you heard of it? Never. Tell us about it. What is okay. it about? Is it about a lady with cats <laughs> that does what? <laughs> right. So you, um, you collect cats. You collect food and toys and costumes. And you try and get the most points. It's super easy to play it's just like a um you set the cards out in a three by three nine grid um mm -hmm. choose what row or column you're gonna choose from collect whatever that is and try and get the most points it's like it's a family game family weight game sounds interesting do you like cats i don't have a cat i don't have anything against cats um but i just like the mechanics of this one i actually um have played this app more than any other uh board gaming or gaming app as well so okay okay yeah okay. I mean, you don't have to have cats to like it i was just wondering you know just throwing out uh, a personal question out there just 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 to see just to get to yeah. know you a little bit better well, i didn't I also buy it cats. because it was cats i actually bought it because i liked the quirky um artwork and the guy who made the game uh, drew the artwork the box is just the box itself catches your eye i mean at least the first box that you showed yeah this the, well this is the deluxe edition sorry my light's really shining on it badly this is the deluxe tin um mm -hmm. the original edition of the game comes in a box that looks like this one okay okay fair enough fair so enough. that matches the um original edition yeah cool. i like it cat lady cat lady all right all right so me my first one uh where to start um all right i want to start with a little uh little box game uh, it's called foe hunters and it's actually a deck building uh game game so um it's a card game you, you, all, all it is is, is cards and it's it, what it says you're you're hunting foes uh but what i like about it is the simplicity of it um you have your typical kind of like uh thunderstone or what other game does that 
I'm blank, but I know Thunderstone does that thing where you could either go to town and with it's a deck builder where you can, or Aeon Zen even um, and get better equipment or you can go fight monsters. So you, you have your um, your market where you can get better better cards for your deck. Um, and then you all you do in your in your turn are just three things. You play a card, you draw a card, you play a card, and you can play any any of the abilities and then you go to the market and you can do a, um, a special power every turn. That's it. It's very simple. Three three little things that you can do every turn, and then you pass it on to someone else, and it's their turn, and you just go at it. And it's just such a fun little, uh, very thematic. Uh, you're just out there to kill monsters kind of a game. It sounds like it sounds like one I would like. Very simple. That's that's me. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah so is simple. it a small? Is it a small box or is it small box? Small. Yeah, so you very... can take it with you as well. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just cards. So yeah. Four hunters. <laughs> Four hunters. I've never, literally, never heard of it as well. So I think we're on a good start here. We are. Yeah. <laughs> we got cats, and we got we got monster monster hunting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Will I go for my next one? Sure. Go for it. Right. Let me grab it. I've got the the full box here. It's a bigger mixtape massacre. Oh, I like right, it. So this is a game that people will overlook because of the strange sort of artwork. And it looks like one of those games that um, is like a mass market thing. But I think it's just like a guy who made it with his pals. And honestly, it's so much fun, despite the fact that the mechanics in it, most board gamers wouldn't wouldn't bother with it. So roll and move. You roll the dice, you move to an area, and then you have to kill somebody. But it it sounds gruesome, but it's all done in like a tongue-in-cheek kind of 80s horror film kind of way. Okay. I love the art. Can I, oh, can I see what? I'll open it for you. Yeah, the art really, with that guy with the, the silhouette. With the, so here's, like, oh. here's the board art. So you can see okay. it's not it's not fantastic, but it doesn't matter because it's so much fun to play. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll I'll show you some of the cards because the um Was the that artwork. cardboard? Was that was that was that a cardboard or is it plastic? It's just cardboard. Cardboard? Okay. Yeah. You can see the artwork here, hopefully. Oh, uh -huh. oh this way? Uh, yeah, that way. It's like <laughs> well, which way? <laughs> It's like, it's like cartoony, go. so it's not it's not gruesome, um, right. despite the name of the game, and it's all a bit silly. It's but not it's, gruesome, but, you, but you're still killing things, aren't you? Well, you're definitely killing people, and you're collecting uh, souvenirs when you do that. So you might collect an ear or As one does. a finger or whatever it might be. I can't remember. I've played it. It's been a while, but a load of fun. That's the main thing. That sounds like a, like a lot of fun, actually. I will definitely check that one out. Yeah, I like it. What's the name really of it? Fun. What's Sorry? the name of it? What's Mixed the name of it? Massacre. And I think it's actually got um, expansions and things now as well. So I have never seen that. So thank you for sharing. <laughs> yeah, so I tried to choose weird ones maybe that people hadn't heard of. So mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Okay, so moving on, let's see. My second game is a little bit bigger, so but it's also deck building. Actually, spoiler spoiler alert, all of the games I picked have some kind of deck building in it. <laughs> uh, this is called, yeah, uh, I like deck builders um, and I like miniatures, but uh, this, this one is called Path of Light and Shadow. Um, and it's a game that I discovered at a convention. Um, I was walking around and I was impressed by the board presence. So I asked if I could play. I sat down, I played, and the owner of the game told me that it was a, a Kickstarter uh, that he backed up and uh, the game really was not very popular and that not a lot of people played it. And he actually thanked us all for playing it. And the game was like, I liked it enough to, and as soon as I got home, I bought it. I, I needed to have it. Um, it mixes two mechanics, deck building and uh, area control. Um, a lot of dice uh, are to be rolled in order to control the areas. So there's a little bit of that. Uh, the fun thing about the deck is that um, the decks are, uh, what do you call it? They're always there. You, you know, you kind of know what's in each uh, market that you're getting and you know it's not really a market every turn you're getting new cards every turn you, you're actually you're actually getting cards into your into your deck all the time and it, you can actually call them or get rid of them uh, but then you turn dark so you can either choose a path of light or a path of shadow um, so that's why it's called 
path of light and shadow because you can go either way you can go to the dark side or you can you know be more of a virtual and you know merciful kind of a hero that's what i would play if i was playing i, I hate being a bad guy in games <laughs> other than the murdery ones obviously <laughs> yeah i was gonna say like you're murdering people left and right <laughs> i think it's fun good. to play both i think sometimes i've played both sides i think when you play the the dark side you, you do a lot of killing so i hey I, the first time uh the guy that won actually was going for the dark side he beat us big time of course i didn't know what i was doing so wasn't surprised yeah. that he beat me but he beat everybody else it's well, a fun i've game. never heard of it so there's actually i i did a i did a oops i just hit the mic sorry people i did a run through i think it's a run through so there's a run through of it on my channel okay. if you want to check it out all right awesome well i think we're doing good because we don't know each other's games so nope. right oh my last one can you see this Thebes. Yeah, I know that game. game. You know I this love game? That game. Yes. Yay! <laughs> so it's been a while since I've played it, so forgive me if my um, explanation is very foggy. But the reason that I love this game is the uh, the bag, the drawing of the bag. So you yes. go around the board, you go to dig sites, and then you get to draw tokens out of the bag. Yes. And I've got to tell you, my luck with this game, every time I've played it, is terrible. And I still come back and um, enjoy playing it. It's that's that's and have a you played it? Yes, I love that game. I love yeah. that game. It's just the um, joy of like. What am I going to get at this dig site? Am I going to find something amazing or am I going to find dirt? <laughs> but, I, but it's not just luck because before you go digging, you have a chance to really, it's how long do you want to spend yeah. uh, getting, grabbing cards that will let you do a better, will let you be a better digger because you'll get more out of the yeah. bag. So, so there's a little bit of push your luck kind of, do you just want to go and, and dig real fast and see what you get? Or do you want to take your time and then go at it? Yeah. But so you if you're too late. Don't you with the um, knowledge on them? So you essentially, mm -hmm. you're, it's like you're thematically, you're studying um, yeah. the dig site before you go there and how much time you put into the studying um, right. lets you spend more time there. And you get to choose how long you spend there as well, but exactly. then that's giving you less time to do other things. It's so clever. Just, yes. I love it. I, I love the way the turns work also, where if you spend too much time, then other players are going to get more turns. Yep. The other players might get two or three, four turns before it's even your turn again, because you chose to spend so much time doing whatever, yep. digging or whatever. So that mechanic is very genius. Genius. Yeah. I wish more games would uh, would use that because really you know, it's clever. kind of and like a, a catch-up mechanism. A little dial that you use as well. Like I haven't uh -huh. seen that in any other any other game. It's, yeah, really. Cool. Right, except for like life counters or stuff like that. But yeah, 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 yeah. very clever. Very good game. Good choice. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for my last one, I think I left my favorite one for last. Um, this is Shadow Rift, and Shadow Rift is another uh, deck builder, another small box, very portable. I, the reason why I like this game, you're doing essentially the same same thing. You're um, uh, going after killing monsters that are attacking the city. But the fun part is that you kind of see the city come alive in a deck of cards. So you have uh, villagers that are trying to help you, and every turn you can get a, a, a little bit of help from the villagers. Um, maybe they give you um, more resources to buy better cards, or they give you coins, they give you stuff like that. You also have traveling villagers that you can invite into town um, to make the town uh, have more population because if the town ever <laughs> is full of corpses you you lose Ooh, so you have yeah. to protect the town exactly you have to protect the town while you're st also managing the monsters that are incoming you want to try to get rid of them um, you're also building walls around the town at the same time and putting those walls into the deck of the villagers to again have either population or walls or something helping you keep the village alive and, and that, that tension that you get um, throughout the whole game of trying to manage the monsters incoming, the village, and also it's a co-op. So you're kind of talking to your to your other teammates, the other people that are playing, trying to figure out, okay, you take the role of this, you do that on your turn. And it's it's very thematic. You feel like you're part of that city. It's kind of, uh, it's not a long game either. So it gives you opportunity to, you, you finish and you want to do it again. Like, oh, come on, is it? And it's not an easy game either. Like it, the game can be, sometimes you win really fast. Sometimes you lose really fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, it, and it's like a fantasy setting. Uh, yeah, you're you're gonna be battling yeah demons and uh, 
fire starter. It sounds kind of like I, it could have a zombie setting as well. Do you think? Uh, I. I don't know that they're zombies, but they're definitely those kind of monsters, zombie-like yeah, monsters. Yeah, but if they, sure. if they rethemed it, I'm just thinking of something where you're... I, I like the idea of like you're building the wall and trying to protect the, the village, that kind right. of compound thing. That's yeah. a, I've never heard of that one as well. Yeah, so good yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fun game. I love that you can... There's many the different ways of winning, and there's different ways of losing, <laughs> and you got to choose your strategy from, you know, wisely from the beginning. And yeah, it's, and again, it's portable, small box. You can take it with you anywhere you go. And even it's so well made, like the box with the insert to, to um, put your put your stuff when you're finished. I very very nicely made as well, which, which not a lot of games do. A lot of games you, they give oh. you the box and you figure out how to <laughs> put it away. Yeah. Which by the way, if you need some ideas on how to put games away, Board Game Grand just gave me a uh, Board Game Grand. I don't know which way she's at. <laughs> who's that way? Boring it's so confusing, Grand. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> she, I just watched a few of her videos on ideas on how to uh, put away your game uh, more efficiently. So, yeah. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I thought it was helpful. So, hey. <laughs> awesome. Well, we've done three each, and I need to look up as particularly that last one. That sounds really cool. Yeah. And I need to look at the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be for you. It is honest. Honestly, it's just silliness. But if you're playing it with friends and family, you will get a good giggle, especially if you've watched those silly 80s horror films. There's a lot what? of like little shout outs in the game, in the artwork okay. and things, and you'll know what they are. Okay, I don't do horror movies, but you know. <laughs> yeah. But it just, it, sound, it, sounds, it sounds like a, like a fun time. And what yeah. best way, uh, you know, some, some games, it depends on your mood, I guess. That's that's for me, at least. Sometimes I want to play a heavy, thinky kind of a game. But yeah. sometimes I just want to have a game where I can have a laugh and relax and just enjoy a, a good time. Oh, cool. Awesome. This is, I think. Hopefully we've um, shown people something that they hadn't heard of before. Right. And maybe you guys have some that would like to share with us. And you would like to tell us what gems you have hidden that... Uh, you know, you wanna you wanna share with the with the rest of us. That'll be fun too. Yeah, we'll pop that up so that we have said the question and shown the question. Oh, look at you! I didn't know you had that question. <laughs> I read your mind, Angela. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we need to think of something for next week. So, um, hopefully, someone in the comments will uh, give us another idea. That's right. So, if you uh, would like to hear a certain topic or hear us talk about something, uh, just let us know in the comments. We will be more than happy to. I mean, I, we, I love getting ideas from from you guys. I don't yeah. know, it's so much better than me coming up with my own ideas. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's, it's a little family, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it feels it, it feels like that. It feels like we're a community. And also, you guys make us think. Like, I have to go and check yes. all my shelves. And <laughs> so yeah. that's great, too. Awesome. Well, is that us done? Yeah. Well, bye. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>